Hi everybody, I'm Mike Sokol from RV Electricity and I'm high atop Funkstown Hill in the Funkworks Lab in lovely Funkstown, Maryland. I kid you not. Um, not many people get to see the inner workings of my lab, but this is where I do all kinds of testing of all kinds of gear. So today I've been doing a series of tests on the soft start up. Um, and this is basically a soft starter that you do not have to connect directly into the air conditioner. It can just live on your shore power cord, hook right into your generator or you know, power right off your pedestal. And I'll show you what I've got going on. I'm running this off of a just a 30 amp receptacle. It's in my little pedestal I have in the office here. Uh, comes in here um, and it, it has a couple of lights on here to indicate and shows what it's doing but it's basically it's a 50 amp input and a 50 amp output but what it allows you to do is you can use a 30 amp dog bone on the beginning of this and then use it to split this off to, to drive a 50 amp RV. Now it doesn't give you more amps but it does allow you to start a pair of air conditioners. So in this case I have a Truma Aventa 15K sitting right beside me over here. And right out back where you can't see it, I've got my Dometic uh, Penguin 2 15K. So these are both pretty husky air conditioners that take a lot of startup current. Uh, normally you would have issues if you're trying to run a pair of these off of a 30 amp, but I've been doing hundreds of cycles like this quite successfully. You can see right now I've got um, both of these units running. So if you go over here and look, the top is the current and this one is the voltage so this is the current of the truma unit and the voltage so it's, it's running around about 14 amps or so um, maybe a little less it's run about 12 amps when it's just running at 120 volts you can see the lower one just shut down so this lower one this is the current and the voltage of my dometic uh, penguin 2. so these guys are just cycling on and off randomly much as they would in your rv but basically what's happening here, this unit um, is connected in, and I've got it split out here so that I can measure a variety of things. So I'm looking for um, both voltage and current feeding into my little DATAC unit here. And this is a high resolution, high speed recorder. So it's recording the data. Um, these are just isolation transformers so I don't blow myself up. Um, and then that's what's driving the computer over here. So the computer is also um, not only displaying this, but I'm recording all of this locally onto a USB thumb drive. So basically, I have access to all of this incredible data, and I can cycle these things, you know, a few hundred times a day. So I'm just pushing the envelope on this. The advantage of the soft start up is you don't have to climb on the roof of your RV and hook a soft start unit up into the air conditioner itself. That does work great. I've participated in dozens of installations and seen data on hundreds of installs, and that works beautifully. Um, right over here, it just did its little click again, and now the secondary air conditioner outside has started up. But then what it also does, uh, this allows you to just plug it into the pedestal directly. Um, if you have a 50 amp pedestal, it'll plug it in there and it'll supply a full 50 amps time, times two and allow you to run more things at the same time. If you have a 30 amp outlet, you just get a dog bone adapter, which is included, and that will then provide power to both sides of this and it will provide a 50 amp outlet. Or you could dog bone it back down to say run your 30 amp air conditioner or you could split this off if you needed to. If you were running this off of a 50, you could actually run two separate uh, RVs off, 30 amp RVs off of this. I think Soft Start Up is an amazing new technology that allows you all of the advantages of a soft start unit without having to crawl up on the roof of your RV and install it directly. You simply plug it into the pedestal or plug it into your generator. And depending on how much juice you've got, you can run one or two air conditioners. I'm currently running a pair of 15K air conditioners uh, for testing. Um, I think this is just a, a real game changer and will not only allow you to use it on your RV, but you can also use it to, say, power your house in an emergency situation with a portable generator. I think it's great. I'm Mike Sokol from RV Electricity in the Funkworks Lab. Thanks for watching.